really nice to be asked to do this event today. Um, David Hare is, you know, having grown up uh, with his work, both as a playwright and a, a screenwriter, um, you know, I kind of I know it. I'm familiar with it, um, and it's kind of daunting to actually get to meet him and talk to him about it. But I'm really curious to see what he's got to say. I worked at BBC Pebble Mill, which was in Birmingham, not in London. And in the canteen with you would be Alan Clark and Mike Lee and Stephen Frears and Willie Russell and Alan Bleasdale. And we'd all be sitting together, we'd all have lunch together, Ken Loach, and we'd all talk about each other's work. And we, we were collegiate in a way that a good university is meant to be. And that's where I learned what the little I didn't know about screenwriting. People liked it, and I'm happy that it became it became a, a huge event in Ireland 20 years ago. And it'll be interesting to see it now, and you know, which because the climate is not as fractious. You know, I mean, people seem to be able to think about and consider all the issues of 1916 and the War of Independence with a little bit more uh, objectivity than they were able to 20 years ago. Ah, it's great. Yeah, it's fantastic to get to honor this film and. Uh, and the journey we had with it and, uh, and to be here at the festival is great. The best scripts are the ones that are 90% 90, 90 complete but allow you 10% of interpretation on top of it. And I think that this had that in spades. I'm embarrassingly enthusiastic to be involved in this movie. Um, so to have it at the festival just before its release, it's a real honor, it's a privilege. Um, I think Ronnie does such an amazing job and the team here is so good. It really competes as one of the you know, best film festivals I think in the world. <laughs>